Gentlemen, spring is here. So starting this video off, a fun floral shirt. Oh yeah, bring in the color. Now a lot of guys somehow think that florals are not manly. Those men do not know their history. You see, flowers have always symbolized the fleeting beauty of life. That's why women would pin flowers on the lapels of their men when they were headed off to combat. Going back even farther, you can find paintings of medieval knights having celebrations with flowers not only in their hair, but also on their armor. And if flowers aren't your thing, they consider paisley. This is an ancient Indian pattern that we see mostly in neckties, pocket squares, but when worn correctly, on a shirt can give a strong regal look. And if all those patterns are way too much for you guys, then just simply change up the color. Go with pink. A lot of guys, again, think that this is a feminine color. Not true. Know your history. This was worn by men, especially men that had darker tones, darker colors. It just really pops, makes you look good. Next up on my list, a good looking lightweight jacket. And to be honest, this is where most men's wardrobes fall down. They've got, yeah, a hoodie, but that's not the same thing. Guys, I'm talking a lightweight jacket that you could put on in the case, like right over that pink shirt. Notice how it makes it pop more. It's just a great accessory that so many men do not have in their wardrobe. This one right here, I've got a simple green corduroy. It really works for my wardrobe, but you can find more casual options. And gents, let's talk about options. You've got jean jackets. You've got sweater jackets. You've got light suede jackets. You've got lightweight leather jackets. You've got sports jackets, as I'm wearing right here in a lightweight linen material. Guys, when it comes to jackets, this, again, is a big hole in most men's wardrobes, so fill it with a jacket that suits your needs. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, Antonio, do you really wear sunglasses in your office? And the answer is, of course I do. My future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs> All right, so I know that wasn't funny at all. Well, maybe it was just a little bit, but it takes us to the next point, which is every man for his spring wardrobe should have a great looking pair of sunglasses. Now, gents, all the sunglasses you've seen in today's video are brought to you by today's sponsor, Christopher Cluse. Now, guys, if you want stylish, quality sunglasses that stand out from the crowd, you want to go over and check out what Christopher Clues has to offer. So a couple weeks back, I had a few pairs sent to me and I've been wearing these every day. And I have to say that I love the quality build, the construction from how they paid attention to the quality of the lenses, to the acetate, basically the plastic, the hard material that they're using. It has a bit of a bend to it. The overall construction is just perfect. From the placement of the screws to the hinges, the way everything is put together has a very high quality feel. Oh, and if you're an NFL fan, guess who their spokesperson is? Tom Brady. Yes, he is wearing this Danish eyewear and he's got different shades on. He's got his own collection. I mean, when you look at it, just beautiful shades, looks good on Tom Brady, which pretty much what doesn't, but they'll look good on you. And again, what I love, again, they've got the classic styles, but they've got a twist to them. They use really quality materials. The lenses are solid. These are great looking, a little bit more fashion forward shades that even a classic stylish conservative guy can pull off. And they've also got a prescription lens program. So a lot of you guys, yes, you have to wear prescription glasses, even with your shades, but you just don't like the styles there at the doctor's office. Guess what? They got a system set up so that you can get prescription glasses in a much more stylish frame. They've also got amazing customer service, free shipping, free returns, free exchanges, and their acetate sunglasses are 100% biodegradable. So guys, if you want to upgrade your spring wardrobe, grab a pair of sunglasses from Christopher Clues. And to get the best deal on the web, you guys know I got you covered. Use that link in the description of today's video. You'll go right over to their website and you'll get the best deal. Oh, and this deal I've got for you down there is not going to be around forever. So use it or lose it, guys. Again, use that link, use the discount code, get the best deal on the web with these amazing sunglasses from Christopher Clues. So when you talk about spring, one thing you can't ignore, smell, because it's all around us and there are certain smells with spring. When I think of flowers, when I think of just, you know, just something earthy, something coming to life. That's for me what spring is about. So let's start this off with a few fragrances I would recommend. Green Irish Tweed from Creed. This is going to be one of the more expensive fragrances on the list, but for many connoisseurs, this is the go-to spring fragrance. Now sticking with niche fragrances, but a little bit more affordable, we got Parfums de Marley's Sedley. This one, I really like it. It's a bit medicinal, but there's something about it that really is just perfect for the spring weather. Next up on this list, we've got Hermes's H24. And this one is the fragrance I'm wearing today. I have to say that I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's a modern classic, in my opinion. It's the metallic note that really sets it apart. At the same time, if you enjoy Terre de Hermes, you're going to love H24. Some people say it's redundant. I don't think so at all. It is very different. And it's just a great 24-7. You can wear this any time of the year, but I think 
think spring is when it's worn best. Now, let's say you want something French and you want something simple. Then look to Guerlain's Vetiver. The note of Vetiver we find in a lot of spring fragrances and for good reason, it's just got an earthy, grassy smell to it. And if the Guerlain's too expensive for you, then look at Langerfeld's Bois de Vetiver. It's a good alternative. It does smell a bit cheaper and it's not as strong, but uh, is a really nice fragrance. Next up, we got Bulgari's Wood Neroli. I like this fragrance because it's got the woody scent, which again, gives it an earthy feel, masculine. At the same time, you've got the florals in there. You have the Neroli. And speaking of a great citrus floral that is perfect for the spring, check out Dunhill's Icon Racing, which also on a side note has one of the coolest bottles out there. And if you're strapped for cash, I highly recommend you check out the House of Davidoff. A lot of people think, oh, it's only cool water that they sell. No, they've got some great other fragrances. Adventure and Horizon are two of them. Now, gents, if you enjoy videos like this, do me a favor and smash that like button. By smashing that like button, hopefully you didn't damage your screen, but you are letting the YouTube gods know, hey, I like this video from Antonio and I will therefore make more. And it helps more men find and discover these videos because let's just face it, so many guys need help dressing better. Next up, let's talk about accessories if you're dressing up. Now, notice here I'm wearing a simple white presidential fold pocket square. I think a pocket square is always a great accessory, especially in the spring when you're wearing these casual jackets, which I talked about earlier. Now, why did they go with a simple presidential fold? Because the shirt is really drawn the attention. I didn't want to go with something overpowering here. But guys, maybe that paisley, maybe those floral patterns are too much for a shirt. We'll throw them into a pocket square, stuff that pocket. It's going to look great with a casual jacket, even if you're wearing a simple, boring shirt. Now, when it comes to neckwear, neckties, if you're going to go with one, maybe look for something in a pastel. Pastels are perfect for this time of the year, or maybe change up that necktie for a bow tie. Again, going with something fun, going with something light, but bow ties for me in the spring are just perfect. They're nice, they're light, and not many men know this, but bow ties are just as formal as any other regular long necktie. The next tip to upgrade your spring wardrobe, guys, change out your watch band. Look at those two watches right here. Yes, very similar. I know one's a Rolex, one's a Monta, but Look at the band, that steel band, perfect for the winter, fall, but maybe in the spring you want to change it up, bring in, you know, that nice bright leather that adds a bit more contrast. Guys, even if your watch didn't come with an extra band, you can go buy something after market, get this changed out. You don't want to do it yourself. Just go to a jeweler. They can change this out. They can even help you find the right piece. But this right here can just really refresh the entire look and get your watch looking great for spring. All right, gents. So, what did I miss? What would you have added to this video to make it better? Let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. So, what video to watch next? Well, how about find out about my watch collection. It's an older video and I go through my entire watch collection, which unfortunately I've lost one of my favorite watches, which I can go into in another video. But right here, I go into just the watches that I have in case you're curious. And if that's not you, down in the description of today's video, I will link to additional videos where you can learn more about men's style.